Good morning. Hey, is there anything salvageable from Babylon? Our reading is at Jeremiah chapter 51, verses 25 and 26. Behold, I am against you, O destroying mountain, who destroys all the earth, says the Lord, and I will stretch out my hand against you, roll you down from rocks, and make you a burnt mountain. They shall not take from you a stone for a corner, nor a stone for a foundation, but you shall be desolate forever, says the Lord. So Babylon's a destroying mountain. Her operating principles are toxic and destructive to every free person on the planet. You know, no one is safe as long as Babylon exists. It says here she destroys all. And God will make Babylon a burnt mountain. God will end Babylon. You know, it's kind of weird. Everybody kind of wants to compromise. Being free is a lot of work. At least it seems like that's the way that people are thinking. But can I suggest that being unfree is a lot more work? Because when we are unfree, our agency is diminished, and we find ourselves being coerced, forced into this thing and that thing and that action and those things that we don't want to do. We find ourselves being forced into it. And that's that takes a toll on our conscience. That is something we don't want. That's destructive to our very being, to our very soul. And so we don't want to be in an unfree situation. We want to be free, free in Jesus. God didn't create us so that we would be subjects of destruction. The opposite is true. He wants us in the kingdom. He paid the highest price possible to get us into the kingdom. So Babylon's usefulness is actually very limited. Babylon, God is using Babylon. He's using its evil only to bring out the good. He's only showing, using it to reveal the good. Babylon is a sharp and dangerous object that simply needs to be revealed for what it is and then ended. God is our protector. Babylon is tolerated only momentarily, only for a brief moment in all eternity. It's going to seem like it was just, just a blip in all of time, very quickly. And even then, it's only tolerated so that we can learn. The sooner we can understand, the sooner Babylon can be retired and discontinued, and the earth can go on, and we can all go on to kindergarten, eternity, starting at the very beginning, where God always wanted us to start. So Babylon can be forcibly retired and the earth made safe for those who would be free in Jesus. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, please transform me so that when Satan comes, he'll find no point of leverage in me. Lord, we can see that the end of Babylon is a burnt mountain. It's, it's just going to be burned up. Please, Lord, I want to be changed. I don't want to be like Satan. I want to be like Jesus. I want to be selfless. I want to be giving, Lord. I want to be on your team. And that's what we all want, Lord. When Satan comes, may he find nothing in us, nothing that's flammable in that way, nothing that is toxic or destructive. May, Lord, he find someone who is a distant, I know a very distant echo, but at least an echo of Jesus. Please keep changing us. Thank you for hearing our prayers, and thank you for transforming your people. We, we give thanks to you in Jesus' name. Amen. There will be nothing salvageable from Babylon, but... God's eternity will last forever. God be with you this day.